They call it many things. Berserker, the zone, battle fever, sometimes they say nothing. They just stop for a moment and change. If you see a human become still and their heartbeat suddenly slows, you have probably already lost the battle. Senior breeder Ratayu pointed his weapon at the human target, a simple sentry after a long shift. He fired with his plasma bolts, hitting every highlighted weak point, and it fell. That was a normal human, some trooper that you surprised because you're a bunch of clever spuddlings. Now meet the real world. These are the actually recorded reaction speeds and behavior of human soldiers under fire. The targets reset, and holographic troops were sent to attack a single human outpost. As soon as the students' avatars began to form, the outpost opened fire. You will assume command in five, four. I lied. Now you are already dead. They don't wait for you to fire, not if you are putting other humans at risk. They will simply kill you if they can. Always assume they can see you. He turned to his disgruntled students. Yes, I know it sucks, but they have battle psychology and physiology that you don't have. Humans can survive days of battle without rest, although they assure us that they prefer not to. They literally said, prefer, not that it is unimaginable for most species to survive that kind of pressure. He waved at a map that was spinning over his head. These are the actual battles that we fought against them. We won the first three, and then we were destroyed. We killed a lot of humans on the lower end of the curve, and then we met the rest. They had the same weapons, the same command and orders, but something had happened. He brought them back to his own defeat. This was a perfect plan. We had spent weeks designing it, and it worked. The video showed surprised humans being slaughtered by his people, the smell of victory in the air. Then things changed. Here is when we recorded our mistake. The humans are a mix of escapees from our previous assault on their homeworld and apparently random low-level officers. Unlike our military, they value those who survive. Watch what happens next. Our forces had forced most of the humans underground on this ice moon, which we had preceded with a hail of rock from orbit. The combat footage was clean as it played out the event, but it had been subtitled for the hard of thinking. A human position was attacked. Three squads attacking a single human position. The humans were clever, digging in deep and leaving decoys everywhere, letting the dirt take most of the fire. Then they counterattacked. It was the face of the human frozen in time, his eyes wide and blank as he used a blade to stab the poor bastard scanning the conflict. This human was later made an admiral. Before they made him join their military, he was a teacher, responsible for their children. We were responsible for an attack on his planet that killed many of his students. He forgave us and strongly supported the treaty. That is not why we are here. This is. He has gifted me with his own records of the event and his own thought processes. This truly represents humans at war. The human was elderly for his race, but his eyes were as clear as day. Well, I was only a lowly teacher at the time. Then you arrived unexpectedly and begun killing us all. The human smiled. We thought the greater universe would be fun. We wrote about it, made movies. We were optimistic until you destroyed the ISS and Moscow. But it was what you didn't know that killed you. I used to teach physics, the laws of the universe as we understood them. Then I remembered another law. I call it the law of unintended consequences. Us. We evolved as persistence predators, and that in the end is why we won. You, with your shiny ships and bloody-handed soldiers, could not imagine a world that would never surrender and join the poisonous alliance that you had built. We stole, captured, or tortured anything we could until we threw you from our world. I'm not proud of it. You made us the worst version of ourselves by your own actions, and I was called up. That is conscripted into the military. After we beat you on Earth, we all were sent to try and save Europa, our pride and joy. I know it means little now, but that was the first place that we had found life off our home planet. It seems silly to think of it today, but at the time we were so proud of building a station there. The old man seemed to run out of words. Ritayu stopped the footage. We paused here for nearly an hour. The memories were difficult for him, and I was unwilling to press the matter. However, it is important to understand the mission that we sent on. We were to secure all the outer planets of the Sol system and prevent resupply to their surveillance ships. It was standard practice and usually uneventful against a species so early in their development. 
The humans taught us well on that day. Your normal is not their normal. This is where we see the change and humans earned their reputation. He resumed playing the recording as the humans stabbed down without expression. Then the POV moves to a random drone at the same time the human has grabbed his weapon and walked slowly towards our people. He didn't waver and he didn't miss. A single bolt should have killed him, but we thought we kept missing. No, we had hit him seven times and any of those should have killed him. We punched him full of holes and he didn't stop. You can now hear it from the human himself. Watch his face and remember that this man is older than your grandsires. The human had sagged in his chair, obviously wearing clothing from many years ago when he was larger. We knew we were fucked, but we were told the relay station had to stay up. Now we know that was a load of bollocks, but we didn't know about the rest of the plan. Anyway, we thought we were the first line of defense against you attacking Earth again. We used to call ourselves the Thin Red Line. Ha! Just a bloody trace on the ice. When you started landing, we were pleased that you hadn't just dropped a fuckton of rocks on us until you did. The man seemed to shrink into himself. We died in those icy caves until we couldn't stand it. The noise and the cold, the damn suits choking us half to death. We made a pact. We would die on the ice and not under it, so we did. We just never expected to win. You poor fuckers had never even seen the dark side because you were busy being stormtroopers. We were ready to fucking kill you with our teeth and we did. I did things that I never want to remember and that I can never forget. What happened to your troops was hushed up by both sides, but he looked darkly at the interviewer. I know I was out of ammunition long before the fighting ended. At least I had a knife. The pause drew out as memories flickered across the elderly face. Some of the boys had hammers or worse. I wanted a damn shovel, but they were taken. I reckon what you did to us was paid back fourfold by what we did to you. I bet they are still screaming in the dark right now. I hear them sometimes. I had had enough. Too cold to live and too angry to die, I did what we all did and ran at you fuckers and waited for the end. When I had finished, I was bleeding from everywhere until the ice took me down, but I used that knife until my arms were covered with your dead. That was the day that I decided to stay in space. I thought there would never be a place at home for a monster like me. His eyes were simply windows into some well-hidden darkness in humans, a flash of some infinite resource that fed on revenge. This human would do it again if threatened. The cycle would never end. By the time our new ships turned up to drive your people out of the system, most of us were dead. A few of us patched up and sent home to recover until we were sent onto the first invasion of your worlds. I brought that knife with me and carried it until you surrendered. My grandson carries it now. The lecture was about to end. There it is. This is why we guard the universe against humanity. No one is allowed to bring this madness back into our worlds or attack the humans again. I was lucky that the humans recovered me after I was stabbed, but this man is not the worst of them. He is simply an example of how they will behave under assault. Now we will run the simulation again, and this time you will simply try to keep your comrades alive against the humans. Begin.